Trump administration trying to take another step to stem the surge of migrants coming across the southern border. AG Bill Barr issued an order to keep asylum seekers in custody while they wait for a hearing. Essentially, they'll stay in lockup. New York Congressman Peter King, a Republican Homeland Security Committee. Sir, welcome back. What do you think of this idea at first blush? Bill, I think it's something that has to be done. Listen, uh, our hearts go out to many of the people around the world, but the reality is we can't take everybody in, and we have to look carefully at these asylum claims. As it turns out, many of them turn out not to be real, to be phony, but it gets the person in the country, and then they disappear or they come back two years later for a court hearing. So, no, I think the attorney general is doing what has to be done, and I fully support him. Uh, I want to get you to react to this. This all goes back to catch and release, as, uh, to what we're referring here. Yep. Here's the tweet today from one hour ago. Democrats in Congress must return from their vacations and change the immigration laws of the border. Despite the great job being done by Border Patrol, will only get worse. Big section of the wall now being built. Here are the key recommendations. From the Department of Homeland Security, sir. Number one, establish regional processing centers along the border to shelter families. Congress should modify asylum procedures so hearing and decision can be given within 20 or 30 days and roll back the Flores ruling by exempting children accompanied by parents or relative who is the guardian. Is that sound policy in your view, sir? I think it is. I mean, you can always refine it somewhat, but basically, I, I agree with all of that. The problem is that the Democrats are never going to move on any of it. I mean, for instance, in the past, they supported a border wall. Now they don't. They say it's immoral. And uh, we have to find some common ground here. And I, I support what the president is doing here. Uh, I think what the Democrats, if they, what they should be doing is they should be making a counteroffer saying they would agree to this if the president would move on the Dreamers and TPS. Then we would get a, a grounds for compromise. But they just reject everything that the president proposes. They don't come to the table with their own proposals. It's well, basically all or nothing. If that's the case, and that's nothing, why I think n nothing changes, right? It just continues at the current pace, which everyone on all sides has said is unacceptable. <clears throat> yeah, it is. And that's why, though, it is important that the attorney general take these steps in the interim. Because until we find a way to improve the asylum process, and listen, we're a country which has always prided itself on providing asylum. But you cannot allow it to be abused the way it is being abused now. So, uh, no, I, I think we are going to be stuck for a while until uh, both sides realize they have to move. And I think the president has made this offer. I think what the Democrats should now do is come to the table and they should ask for some relief for Dreamers, for oh. TPS, oh. something along those lines where then it will be give and take and we can make some real progress. Here and there will be a federal court challenge if this thing moves forward. We'll see where it goes. In the meantime. Oh, yeah. We are about 24 hours later from the release of the <clears throat> Mueller report. W what are you thinking about a day ahead of that? What will you key in on? Uh, how long will it take to truly understand 400 pages uh, and some redactions that certainly will be in there? Sir, what's your feeling on this? Yeah, I would think it really wouldn't take that long to get a pretty good idea. I mean, you know, there's going to be expert staff. Uh, not just in the White House and in uh, uh, you know, congressional offices going through it. I don't think it'll take that long to, you know, to get the bottom lines. All of us know what the parameters are. What I'd be looking for is, first of all, I, I don't want to prejudge anything, but from my experience and from seeing what Attorney General Barr said, uh, I, I know there will be no evidence at all of any collusion. And when Democrats say not enough to show a criminal case, no, nothing at all as far as collusion. As far as obstruction of justice, I think probably there'll be elements in there like was firing Jim Comey obstruction of justice, was criticizing the Mueller uh, investigation obstruction of justice. I would say absolutely not. I think the Democrats are going to try to hang their hat on some of those allegations. And then whatever it is, any word that's redacted or blacked out, they're going to say that's where the conspiracy was. And yet the attorney general has obligations, obviously, to make redactions. So I think what we can expect is no matter what's redacted, they're going to say that's the evidence of conspiracy and the attorney general is covering up. I'm just so glad that Attorney General Barr is the person in charge because he is a solid, solid lawyer with an unimpeachable reputation. So I think this is going to blow up in the Democrats' face if they try to make more of it. Are there going to be things in there that may not be pleasant to Donald Trump? I think he'd be the first to admit he's not a saint, but he has not committed any crimes. He has worked hard for the uh, U.S. And what they're going to find, I think, uh, uh, Probably on the, uh, there's going to be probably extraneous comments in there about things he said or might have said, uh -huh. something some staff person might have said. 
but something goes on in everyday life with everyone. If any of us was under a two-year microscope, none of us would come out looking like a saint, but he will come out, I believe, looking like okay. a patriot. Peter King, thank you for your thoughts. We'll call on you Thursday, Friday. We'll see what we get then. Thank you for your time today.